Welcome to 88.8 Success Radio Escuela Station. You learn as you listen. You listen as you learn. This is Teacher Jennifer and Makai, your teacher in Science 3. I will go along with you as we study a topic from the most essential learning competency, describe the different uses of light, sound, heat, and electricity in everyday life. I am here to teach and serve you. Good morning, grade 3 pupils. I am happy that you are here with me today. How are you? That is great. I'm glad to hear that you are perfectly fine. I hope everybody feel the same. Make sure to find comfortable seat and you hear me loud and clear. Do not forget your learning activity sheet and pencil. If you don't have yet, I will give you time for about 3 seconds. Time starts now. Okay, are you ready? Then, let's start our lesson. You have just learned in the previous lesson the different patterns of motion. Can you still remember it? I'm glad that you still remember it. You see movements around you. Things move because there is someone or something that makes them move. Linear motion is a movement of an object in a straight path. Circular motion is a movement of object in circles or rotation path. Zigzag motion is a motion in which uh, in which the object is making sharp angles. Up and down motion is the motion showing upward and downward or alternative movement. Back and forth motion is a motion repeatedly moving in one direction and then in an opposite direction. Very good! You have recalled our past lessons. Now, we can move on to our lesson for today. Later on, you will have another activity, so listen very well. I am sure that you can still answer the activities as long as you focus on... Or you can easily answer the activities as long as you focus on our lesson. Our lesson for today is to describe the movements of an objects in deep, different paths. These are evident in the movements of objects, animals, and humans. Take a look the, at the pinwheel. Examine the movement of the motion path. How is the pinwheel moving? Imagine that you are playing the pinwheel. You move the blade of the wheels and observe that it is moving in a circular path. This is how, how the motion path of the play of the pin or of the pinwheel looks like. The pattern below shows the motion of the school bus when it moves in a zigzag path. This is how train moves in a railway going south. It follows a straight path. This is how the seesaw moves. Observe the arrows where it is pointing at the iron or, or is pointing at. The iron moves toward and backward when you are pressing the clothes. Okay. So, did you understand the movements of objects, animals, and humans? Very good. So now let's move on to the activity about describe the movements of objects in different paths. Prepare your learning activity sheet and pencil. We will start the part 1 of the learning activity sheet or last. So the direction, 
read and analyze each situation, then choose the correct answer inside the parentheses. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one, a lightning moves in a blank motion, circular or zigzag. Number two, you do an blank motion when you use the stairs. Back and forth, up and down. Number three. You turn on the electric fan. The spinning blade is an example of a blank motion. Circular, up and down. Number four. A monkey swinging backward and forward is a blank motion. Back and forth or linear. Number five. Jones runs straight forward back home. He is following a blank motion or path. Linear, up and down. Okay, so let's check your answers. For number one, the answer is... Zigzag. Number two, the answer is... Up and down. Number three, circular. Number four... Back and forth. Number five, linear. And for part two, the direction reads, the direction is uh, this one. Uh, draw the path of motion present in each situation. Choose your answer from the box. That is uh, one to five. I'll give you three minutes to answer. Time starts now.
Okay. For activity number three, read and analyze each statement. Write the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet or no, on your last. So that is one to five. I'll give you um, three minutes to answer. Time starts now. Okay, so I am hoping that all your answers are correct. Keep your sheet and make sure that you will send or your parents will send that to me on the day of retrieval. So it is so nice to be with you all throughout our discussion. I hope you understood everything we have discussed. Once again, this is your Science 3 teacher broadcaster, Jennifer and Makai. Always remember, in science, anything is possible. Till next time, kids. God bless.